I'm Paddy McDermott, I'm the chef at Meats in Soho. I'm excited and a little bit nervous about today's challenge. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting pretty nervous about cooking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Uh, no, I've never cooked any ingredients from a convenience store, no. Well, I'm planning on making a scotch egg from a cheap ham sandwich. The hardest part will probably be making a scotch egg from a cheap ham sandwich. <laughs> okay. I think the nastier the better. How much is it? 14 bucks. That's spicy, right? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that'll work. I need some normal milk. I, I have milk, chocolate milk, said cheap ham sandwich, spicy noodles, and some cocktail bread. 56? I can do I can do better than that. I've never done this before. That looks uh, as bad as expected. Pretty good. This is very untraditional. So the perfect scotch egg is, well, should be really good pork meat and a nice soft egg and a nice crunchy exterior. But I don't think this will be. <laughs> so, and it goes. Uh, it'll make that noise. Uh, you can tell when the oil's ready by usually either smoke starting to appear, or you can use a thermometer. Uh, 180 degrees is probably the best temperature, or you can just put your finger in it like that. <laughs> but I don't suggest that. It's nice and golden. Kind of looks like a tennis ball. It's actually really good. <laughs> Which is much better than expected. Would you make this again? Yes. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna make a, a type of bread and butter pudding. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna uh, use some of these spices. These are cloves and star anise. This is gonna be the milk for the, the bread and butter pudding, I hope. So I'm just gonna bring this up to the boil so it infuses the flavor. Old nasty bread is the secret to a uh, good bread and butter pudding. It has to be really, Stale, for so it absorbs all the uh, all the custard. Um, we're going to put this guy into this jar and hope for the best. I'm feeling quite nervous about these dishes actually. I don't know how they're going to turn out. Okay, here's my uh, very thin custard. This is the most cowboy thing I've ever done. <laughs> I think this is going to work. All right, I think that's ready. I'm going to put some uh, sugar on the top, and we're going to probably bake this off for. I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. All right, here we go. Done. Okay, here we go. Pretty happy with that. This is the fun part. I think I would make this again. Ta-da! <laughs> I think I need some uh, non-brand ice cream. <laughs> Shall we eat it? Great. I think I've made a mess of this kitchen. 